Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Odd Sparks and Automation Adventure. Last time, we got set up with our basic fabrication cycle here. We have our logger continually pumping out wood for our spark, our stumpy spark shrine to continue making our little, our little spark friends. We have a current mission of trying to gather ether shards. Hey, and look at that. We don't even have to go out and kill a bunch of bugs. Oh my god! Remember when I was after rocks? And I had to like run across the entirety of the map to get rocks? We could have just walked slightly to the north. And we would have found all the rocks we needed. Let's clear this whole... Little brown patch here. Just because I, I like the idea of clearing out all the resources here. We'll use them. So no point in leaving them here. But then we'll go check in with the the old man. And then we can uh, start working on the lumber part. We can start working on the lumber or the, the plank part production. Because right now we're just getting raw wood, which is useful. Thank you. One log left over. So these guys have actually maxed out what they're doing now. So they can't actually even deliver any more logs here. We actually have full stumpy sparks. We're gonna deliver all the ether shard, except for... No, I think we already used uh, our ether shard. But we did get access to storage. So what I want to do now is throw this guy down. And what that'll do is, as they have excess wood... Oh, actually, what I should do is I should throw it here. How do I delete stuff again? That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. So if you wanted to delete stuff, you have to select this thing that actually allows you to move stuff. But the reason I wanted to put the barrel here is they'll load the Stumpy Spark Shrine first. If the this is full, they will then load it into this barrel. And then on the other side of the barrel, we're going to throw down. We haven't unlocked the assembly. Oh, no, we have. It's right there. The refiner, which... I think I'll slap this here. I don't want him running into the back of this in case we want to automate the output of the logs here. And I, fa I actually will. I want to do a little path here. Just a little guy. Like thusly. And then we'll throw down a barrel. Just across it. And then we'll throw down two st stumpy sparks that just run around in a circle now. Oh, I, I screwed this up, actually. Hold on. The whole point of this is I want to take wood. Oh, no, no, no. This is right. Basically, what I want to do is, is I want to take wood and spit it into this guy here. However, this, this log is... I actually think that th I got to rethink this whole thing now. I think I need to take wood and then put it into the log, the sawned timber first. So I would like to move you. Oh, you can't fit in there. That's rough. Because there's not a great way to get around that machine. And this is going to have a lot of storage in it. So I think maybe I'll move this over here. So the way this is set up is they're going to load this guy first. Once this is full, they will bypass it. And now they will dump their wood into this guy. In fact, I'm just going to add some more guys to continue the wood gathering. 
And so as they bypass this dude over here, they'll dump the wood into the into this machine, which we're going to add sparks to right now. And now they're going to turn any excess wood into planks. And then planks will get pulled out of here and added to this bucket by these two guys. We might not actually need two of them. It kind of looks like that um, one of them is keeping up with the plank production just fine. Now, the whole purpose of this barrel over here is as we if, we... if we ever fill up the lumber producer, then they will dump their excess wood into that barrel over there. Right now, I'm going to jack this wood. And I'm going to steal these stumpy sparks. Great. Now I think we can go talk to the NPCs. Sorry, it took me a second to, like, parse out how I wanted to set that up. I still don't think... I would rather have the plank production in front of the Stumpy Spark guy now. But, uh, there's just not... There's not enough space for us to... To finagle that, uh, between the, the log production and the, the Stumpy Spark collector. Mm -hmm. It's quite a lot, I know, but I'm sure you've been able to do it very quickly. Or did you already get everything? We did! 20 Aether Spark, one Stumpy Spark. We did not. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I had 100 wooden logs. The good news is we are working on the planks, though, because we'll need 40 to upgrade the village. And as this is going on, we can actually siphon off the wood from, from this guy. Although it does look like these little guys are filling up. Ooh, they, they dumped 27 into there. Pretty cool. What's in here now? 13 wooden log or wooden planks, I should say. We need to get our hands on 40 more logs. We need to have 67. So might as well have our little guys go out and gather some wood for us while we're waiting around for the production to keep going. The nice thing is, now that our thing is, like, fully automated, these barrels are going to fill until, you know, they're full. And then we'll have tons of resources to pull from. In fact, I think I'll throw in a second barrel for each, just in case um, they max out. Because I don't want to get to the point where we're actually wasting time with our sparks just wandering around in a circle. It's all about efficiency here. Very German. Ooh, I got an item bag? I don't know what was in that. Who knows? There we go. What are we up to? 50? Oh, we're at 66. There we go. 67. <laughs> we need 80 wood. Whoop. Little hiccup there. We need 80 wood to be able to upgrade the village, but we'll let them chunk th uh, through some of the backlog there, and then we can get we can let them do the work for us instead of me running around gathering logs one at a time. Here you go, guy. I got the rest of the wood just like I promised. It's quite a lot, I know. Oh wait, you already did that. Complete. I'm done, so there's no way of building this without the ancient bases. The piping is vital, but I can't quite replicate it. But I've also made it process, made it process agnostic, which means you can use it to make other types of sparks. What? I know there are more shrines out there. I bet you a warm dinner that there's more sparks too. Oh, I always thought that these statues were minor deities, but to think they were creatures. Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right, so the next step. Is there a next step? Nope. Looks like the next step is to upgrade the village. So we need 80 wooden logs and 40 timber. We're up to 19 timber. Let's go ahead and unlock these things. So machine range. We need a crafty spark. Oh, we're all out of wood. You know how we get one piece of wood? We poke around in the bushes. Oh, hey. The Mason sisters. Oh, I've got the wood. Unlock. There we go. Here's a leaf. 
Fast travel, you can unlock the village monument waypoint. We've, we've done so. Press M to fast travel to it. Quest overview gives you an overview of how the quests are connected. Oh, very cool. We've done the most of the tier one quests so far, almost done with tier tier one. We've got the village expansion and then we get, get into tier two. So crafty spark, we got, we've got stone. So let's unlock the waypoint range. You've unlocked your first ancient waypoint. They need to be fueled before they can be used. You fuel it with wood. Oh. We have a lumber, so we might as well unlock. Etheric clump. I only have etheric pellets. Un unlocks the ability to rush a single group of sparks into one. Uh-oh. That was weird. <laughs> did that did that unlock? Oh, it didn't yet. That was strange, like my mouse unbound from the window for a second. You can aim rush, or you can rush sparks with aim mode, and then press R. Okay. So we need a etheric clump and then crafty spark to unlock the next stuff. What if I hit M? Can I go somewhere? Aha! It's not fueled though, so we can't go to that ancient waypoint. Oh, here's the crafty spark shrine. I see. I see what you're doing. Giant tree. Oh, there are giant trees around here. I just didn't notice them. Giant rock. Ooh. Infinite rock, you say? <laughs> Alright, that one's kind of out there, but hopefully there's like a waypoint out there maybe that we could, uh, we could go to. Could we set up these guys to fuel this dude it kind of looks like not that's not possible holy hell we got so much wood all right let's how much wood can we throw in there 12 per minute holy cow that burns through wood like crazy huh there's got to be a way to automate this right perhaps maybe not Let's take all the Sumpy Sparks. And honestly, I kind of want to check out the Crafty Spark real quick. Come with me. How does... Ru Let's check out Rush. Let's zoom in here. R uh, aim. R. There they go! <laughs> oh man, they're on a tear! They're unstoppable. You guys, you're murdering everything in the forest. I mean, I'll pick up all the ether stuff. They're ruthless. Okay, they've killed everything. All right, Crafty Spark is a little further. Come with me. Oh, there's a giant tree. We need to get a carapace. Oh, it's even further still. Outside of the spider woods. All right, we found the Crafty Spark Shrine. You touch the shrine and it slowly whirs into life. It seems to be running some sort of test. This one too spits out a rather strange creature into your arms. The shrine registers that the Crafty Spark has been immediately activated as part of the test. The Crafty Spark waves at you, eager to, to, ready and eager to receive instructions. However, before anything could be done, with a puff of mag magic, the spark turns into a wooden disc. This one is a little more efficient Less offense, and same defense and capacity. Attack type is blunt. Huh. So this guy needs Stumpy Spark and Wooden Panel, which we have not unlocked yet. Cool, though. That's new for me. I haven't actually unlocked... I hadn't unlocked the Crafty Spark when I was just learning how to play the game. So now we're getting into the new stuff. For me, anyway. Here we go. I was looking at the mini-map and I was like, I don't recognize this place. In we go. We will turn in our timber and our log to the village elder. One, two, three, four. One, two. 
Complete. The mayor takes inventory of the items she's asked for with disbelief. Oh. Amazing, I've never imagined that you would get get so much so quickly. <laughs> it's like a weird mix between the old guy and something else. Thank you so much, my dear. We'll make sure to put this all to good use. Oh. Don't forget to take breaks, okay? I'm proud of you no matter what you do. Always have been. I've turned into Miss Piggy. Merchant. Oh. Have you talked to the merchant? Most folks tend to come so far from the middle of nowhere, but they're very interested in staying when you heard about your sparks. Oh. I already have some plans for the next project. Do you want to help? Accept. Oh. Thank you so much, dearie. Be careful out there. Hers is definitely the hardest voice I've decided to do for myself. <laughs> Let's talk to the merchant. I have a question. Are those sparks of yours good at defending themselves? Or say, a trade caravan? We avoid disturbing wild animals, but sometimes they attack. Of course, there are also bandits. Maybe they can help, but ah, you should start with something weak. Hunt some field spunnies for me. You can find a lot of them in the woodlands. I have hunted many of those before. Fear not. Alright, let's gather all the quests from all the NPCs. We're zooming. <laughs> Exciting news! I was going through some older notes and I found something on an unusual shrine. It always confused me because it didn't have a little creature on top. I don't think you found it yet, so I'll mark it on your map. Except, find the ancient shrine, examine the etheric distiller. Be careful out there, you hear. Don't get too close to the mantis stags. That sounds... intimidating. <laughs> I don't know what a mantis stag is. Let's go talk to the woodcutter. Hmm? Hey, how's the spark stuff going? You update the woodsman on what has recently happened, including that you've recently unlocked some new shrines at the village monument. Hmm, mm. you know when my grandfather explored the woodlands a long while ago, he described his notes a shrine with a strange looking statue. Thinking about it, it might have been a spark machine. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Oh. I already found the crafty spark thing. I hope those notes are still useful and you find something there. Grandy never had the greatest writing. I've never heard anybody refer to their grandparents as Grandy. That's great. Oh, hello there. So, you know your sparks can turn wooden logs into sawn timber? I was thinking, maybe we can get them to make something even more refined. Do you want to give me a hand? Accept and pin. Great, let's try expanding just a little to see how the logger and saw, saw bench work in scale. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a big tree right here. Oh, but you can't put, I see. That's actually really interesting. I didn't realize that there was a guy just like hanging out here that we could make wood at, like this. That's kind of funny. But you can't put your sparks in, the, in that one to work on that, unfortunately. So we need to build two loggers and two saw benches, saw benches and then deliver timber to that guy. Aww. These sparks are very silly. They keep walking around in very long ways. They need instructing. Deliver wood panel and sawn timber. She grins eagerly waiting for you to bring the materials. We will get plates in a bit. Right now, we need to do the other guy's mission. Alright, they're zooming. We got all- Our inventory is actually full. Astounding. Huh. Where? There's not like a great place to put another... Another logger. Oh, these things grow back. That's interesting. I need to go find the beetle... The beetle carcass or whatever it is. The beelophant? Maybe we'll go find that shrine they told me about. But until we find that guy, we won't be able to... Uh, to complete the mission. I'm gonna throw these... Uh, these leaves on the ground. I don't really need them. I honestly don't even know what leaves are for. Other than up, uh, opening the shrine up that one time. Aha! The Belafont corpse. Can I... There we go. 
Thank you, little guys, for being helpful. Our inventory is full. I forgot about that. Uh, we have too much wood. Um, yeah, more leaves on the ground, I suppose. Oh, it's the and it's the other thing. All right, leaves, leaves. You're the you're the odd man out. All right, we got the etheric clump, and we got our. Uh, Oh, cool. You can teleport back to the village as much as you want. That's awesome. We got our, our beetle car Beelophant carapace. We got the etheric clump, which is awesome. An additional slot in the active sparks bar. Oh, cool. So that's how you get 20 sparks. We could also have one crafty spark. <laughs> there he is. But I would rather have 20, 20 normal sparks, I think. Carry Spark Shrine, the Lomi Spark Shrine, and the Choppy Spark Shrine. Do I want to sacrifice the one crafty spark I have? I sure do. We've un- Ooh, the wooden blade! <laughs> Back when you were- I don't know that meme. I was studying the blade. Fertilizer, tree bark, Beelophant be Carapace. We don't want to- we don't want to sacrifice that one. Although the in inventory upgrade will be very useful. Quartz, Carry Spark, and Choppy Spark. Okay. I have to imagine Choppy Spark is the guy... Is going to be the guy you want to attack with. He looked like a little sword. You start telling the Divine Researcher about the two new shrines you've un just unlocked at the Village Monument. Especially the Crafty Spark Shrine when he interrupts you. Oh, I didn't, didn't I tell you there were other sparks? I'm so smart. I think you technically owe me a warm dinner, but I'll let you off for now. Okay, old man. <laughs> Enough gloating from this old man. It's time to do some work. Okay. Crafting crafties. Oh, we don't want to do the logistics. We want to do the woodcraft. Pin to screen. Because if we don't unlock the woodcraft, we won't be able to do the logistics anyway, because we don't have wood panels. All right, I think we just let this guy run, like, indefinitely. Our inventory is still full. I forgot about that. But let's go over... Let's go over yonder here. And see, like, how close can we find can can we find a giant tree? And see, maybe we can set up our own kind of workshop area. Cause without those those bases, like these these little pink dots, you can't make any machines. But if you have a place that has access to like all the the main resources, that's the good that's a good place to be. See, like the giant rock being nearby is actually really really interesting to me. Let's see if there's another tree on the other side or maybe it's these two trees that are kind of the to the southwest that are the best option for us. There's even more more ancient bases out here. There's so much basery. All right, the question is, can we get through these big trees as well? They're kind of in the way right now, but I think we can make it work. These two are relatively close, and then this giant rock is relatively close as well. So I think we'll set up our second base and probably like more of our main base over here. The logger, I would like to put you there. And then the path out of here is gonna be kind of tricky. Because these big trees are in the way. But I would like to have our guys... Oh, they can't come down off the cliff that way. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we need to reorient. Oops. We need to reorient how we have this guy set up. That's right into a tree. A big tree, I should say. And then that's off the edge of a cliff as well. Alright, maybe this isn't as useful as I thought it was. Maybe there's the ability to unlock... Like, ramps in the future? <laughs> but right now, this guy's kind of stuck in a bad place. We'll put it there for now. And then, uh, I guess I'll throw down a saw bench. Just somewhere. 
to satisfy the uh, the conditions. But if we wanted to build, I guess we haven't unlocked any of the other the the ancient base things yet. We'll leave these over here for now. Once we get the get uh, our hands on whatever ability it is that allows us to chop down big trees, oh, then they're all gonna be sorry. Plenty of crafty sparks. We don't have the wooden planks yet, though. Wooden panels, I should say. So we need to make a single crafty spark for the old guy, a bunch of stumpy sparks, and a bunch of wooden panels. So we are uh, we're, we're gonna have to wait on the the upgrade as well. There. Oh, whoops. There. I wanted the planks actually. Thank you. All right, let's go talk to the woodcutter man. And then we might reconfigure our our wood factory over there a little bit to get wooden panels out of it instead of just planks. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Uh, here we go. We would like to drop 80 timber in there. Complete. You describe your findings as the wood man, woodsman appraises the sawn timber. He nods slowly, his mind connecting dots on the finer details of the spark-sized machines. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. This makes it a lot easier. You can just create multiple settings for everything. Think of it like a recipe. And if you need to create a new setting in the saw bench, all you need to do is... This. <laughs> so we've unlocked a new recipe for an existing workstation. Cool. Exit village. So now here's where it gets interesting. So you produce seven and a half per minute. What happens? Let's move this guy out of the way for a second. Let's throw down another, another sawmill. And then you take sawn timber and make wood panels. And, oh, I need to add stumpy sparks. You make 15 per minute. So, what that means is we need to have the output from two of our sawmills uh, feeding into one, one panel maker. So, let's move this guy. Ah, oh, rats. We've picked a terrible place to, like, build our... <laughs> I, originally, I was like, I love this, um, but it's unfortunate because, well, I actually have an idea. Let's see, can I reduce this to one lane, and then they just walk back and forth? And then what we do, move you down, and then we put down another one here as such and then we add whoop, we add more stumpies to this guy just because so they can zoom around the wooden barrel is full anyway take this guy Off of the path. Just gotta pick up after yourself. And then we move this guy back into this slot here. Put the path. Oh, there is an input there. Oh, okay. I've learned something. So you can have little dudes feeding, uh, feeding your teleporter <laughs> and what actually once we get that other factory up and running like uh, over here i might actually switch this guy to just be a waypoint feeder um where these guys are chopping wood and then just dumping wood into this guy forever but let's take our stumpy spark out of here 
And then we need to add some Stumpy Spark to this guy. And then we need to add some, some Stumpy Sparks to pull the planks out of there. And then they're just dumping them in here. And then we'll make our little our little square again. And then we need to move these barrels, or at least one of these barrels back here. So if they're they're overrunning our plank production, once again, we can have little guys uh offloading into that that extra barrel there so this is great i think this is exactly what we need to see so what are our missions again we've got spark combat we need to kill five spunnies we can do that right now examine the etheric distiller shrine we haven't done that yet craft crafties we need wooden panel and sawn timber and we need sawn timber and wooden panel okay <laughs> In different order. All right. How many sparks, stumpy sparks, do we have on hand? We have 19 spare on top of the 20 that we have. We have way too much wood. Log wood, I should say. And I wonder, can we? What does it take to build a shed? Oh, it takes a wooden plank. It looks like this one is just for me. So I can just store whatever I want to in here. Which is nice, because then I can go off and collect stuff. And I can be like, what what do I have available for me back home? So let's go kill some spunnies, and then let's go check out that machine. Real quick. Good job. That's one down. Thank you. There's two more. All right. Now they're going to murder everything in the forest. You touch the shrine and it slowly whirs into life. It seems to be running in some kind of test and checking that everything still works. With a, There is a hiss of steam as the machine finishes a process. It seems to have refined an etheric pellet into ether aether shards. A shrine states that it is now fully functional and ready to use. Cool. Let's take all the stuff from the, the chests. So we've, we've done the spunnies, we've examined the machine. Let's head back to town, and then let's pause the episode there. We will pick up there while uh, there next time turning in some of our quests. So, if you guys enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you guys want to see more Odd Sparks and Automation Adventure or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody!